Hi everyone, it's Marissa. Um, I just wanted to do a quick show of the things that I've accumulated over the past couple of weeks um, and kind of a peek into my smash book that I've been doing. Um, never mind this ugly bandage. I cut my finger cooking with my daughter who was cooking better than I was, obviously. Um, and this is only my second video. I've been, I don't know, I've been wanting to get on here and do my room and show all these projects, but I'm not quite there yet. So I thought I would just do a video just to warm myself up. Um, I love watching haul videos. I love, I watch it because I like to see maybe what's out there that I wasn't able to see in the stores or didn't know if they were in there um, or papers or what things look like up close and the variety of things. I don't have a lot of cool things to share. These are just local stores right now, like Michaels and things like that, and TJ Maxx. But anyways, um, I did some shopping on eBay <clears throat> just for a couple of things I was looking for, and I'm really into the paint splattering on pages, um, and I just was getting lazy and didn't want to wait for things to dry so I wanted to find a rubber stamp or a stamp of, of ink splatters and the one that I wanted was out of print and so they had so many on eBay and I found this one and I'm not that happy with it <laughs> um, but this is it right here and I was hoping that it would be more spaced apart it, it's it's cute I've used a, a used it just a little bit not the whole like entire thing but just like a corner of it um, and she was local, she was right down the street, so I only paid two dollars with no shipping, but I picked up that one, and yeah, okay, it's alright, but it kind of just looks like some just splatted, like I like the big, the one that I wanted had big spots. Um, and this is super old, but it was brand new, and, um, she, I got it for four dollars, and she only charged me two dollars shipping, which I felt bad, and I don't have like a great tripod, so I can't really get things into view, so I'll just show you, it's just the the crate paper um, toy box collection. Um, I have four boys and one girl so I do a lot of boy stuff but I, I guess it could be for girls too. I hate to like bend it. Um, anyways but it's the whole entire pack with the stickers and the elements um, and then she had the matching ribbon so really these two I got for six dollars so it wasn't bad. I kind of felt bad that I didn't pay so much in shipping but she was new, so I don't know if she knew. Um, and then I just went to a um, local Japanese store where I buy um, some 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 of their groceries there. But they have those little the little Daiso, I think it's called section. Um, and I always see everybody doing hauls of those, so it was just a little one, and it was nothing big. Everything was a dollar fifty, but I just got this little punch, little heart punch. Um, and then these, which I thought were pretty neat these papers I thought they were all this size um, but they look their vellum I think okay I won't open it um, but it has green and they're all diagonal stripes but green pink blue and I thought it would be cute die cut if I die cut it um, or put okay I'm gonna open it because it's gonna bug me <laughs> sorry it's probably all loud um, or I don't know what layer in behind something, but I just like the I like the uh, style of it, or I just like the stripes and the colors. So you get an assortment. And so dollar fifty. It's those big sizes and then these little these little squares. I think they're like I don't know how big they are. I'm sorry. Um, so those, and then I went to a thrift store real quick just to run in. Um, and found all of this and it's like iridescent like it was a dollar at Goodwill I don't know why I didn't see it was iridescent in the store and I'm not really I don't really like the iridescent um, but I'm willing to to share this if anybody would like some um, there's just a lot of it not that there's anything wrong with iridescent like I said but I, I thought it would be just plain so yeah I can cut some off if you want some um, and then I went to Tuesday morning, I already took these out and got some, some stamps. Um, one of our sons has high functioning autism, um, and he's super, super into music and playing the guitar or trying to, <laughs> he's trying. And so I, I saw these, 
um, with the guitar. So I thought they were cool. And yes, I am taking him, my husband and I are taking him to see Van Halen in two days. <laughs> Headphones and all, he'll be okay. Um, it's his dream come true. I can't believe we're doing it, but I think it's going to be so fun and he's so stoked. Um, this is just huge for him. So he's 11. Um, so I think it'll be fun. So I, I'm glad that I found these little guitar ones. And then I didn't know these were snake skins until I got home. I was like, oh, look, those are, would be cute backgrounds. And they are. I mean, I stamped it, but they really do look like skin. <clears throat> this is probably the only one that doesn't really, <clears throat> excuse me, or this one. But I just thought they would be cool as backgrounds. Um, and I think these were $1.99. <clears throat> excuse me. And then I went to um, Aaron Brothers. I didn't know that Aaron Brothers had scrapbooking stuff. I mean, I saw it a couple of months ago, and it was just a little selection of, like, Tim Holtz and stuff, but I had a, a coupon, so I went and got a couple of things. And these are super old, but they're new to me. I've always wanted them. So they were just the Jenny Bolin little bingo cards. Um, yeah, I think they were $2.99 there. And then these banner chipboard that I didn't know went with, she has this shape too and I have all these little stickers and I just always like put them on my paper I didn't know that they had matching chipboard and duh I was just going to paint these but I guess I still could it had little stickers but I just grabbed these two um, and then this is like all sporadic and then I was at Walmart um, and I saw this on clearance for 50 cents and it's just a calendar, but I thought it would be neat to put in my smash book or just like as a background on a page or to cut out little, I don't know. I thought it was neat. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe it's, I don't know. So yeah, I grabbed that for 50 cents. Um, and then I went to TJ Maxx, my husband and I, because we have so many children, we like to get away when we can. Um, and, um, we, went to dinner and then on the way home I was like complaining I'm like my TJ Maxx and my Marshalls never has anything and I never so I never go and he was like well let's just go look and some kill some time and so like right when we walked in there was this this scrapbook little se section and I was just saying I can't believe that I can't find those pads and I found the pads um they had like eight of them and Honestly, if he wasn't there, I would have gotten all of them. So it's good that he wasn't because I was kind of embarrassed that I was like, he was looking at me like I was crazy grabbing all these. Um, but I won't, these are old. I mean, I won't go through them, but um, I just got the out of the blue lime twist, um, the six by six, away we go, the fly a kite lime twist, and the honey cake six by six. And I, I do like this one because of the orange and the gray. Reminds me of Studio Calico Colors in one of their pads. Um, so they had some thickers, but they were pretty beat up. But yeah, I kind of was thinking today, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go sneak and get the other ones. Sneak? That's awful. No, I'm not going to get the other ones. I don't need them. Um, and, then, and then I just went to Michael's and I picked up the Martha Stewart just because I had a coupon. I thought that I would color those. Um, these, I used to buy these. Are they cabochons? I used to call them kabochons. How embarrassing. I should make my video over just because I said kabochon. Um, but I used to buy these on Etsy in all different colors and make earrings out of them. And then I saw Michael's had them in every single color for way cheaper. But I don't mind buying from Etsy. So I just grabbed those. Um, and then these card making embellishments, they used to, I used to always see them and I thought the packages were cute. But I never wanted to pay the money for them. So they're all marked down $1.99. Um, so I just grabbed these ones and this one I already used something out of it but and then I found these on clearance I saw a layout somebody did and had twine around them and I thought that they were cute to put on a layout so I did it I did it I grabbed them um, and I pulled this out I always wanted this but I always saw everybody getting this one I thought it was cute so I finally found it um, and then I just grabbed another smash book the black one um, I kind of feel guilty doing my, my smash books and because the smash book is mainly for me and when I mean for me I mean things that I like and a lot of my project life and layouts are the children and the family which is fine that's what I did it for um, but the smash book I can kind of just use things up I don't care what it looks like I just smash it all in um, and it doesn't really matter to me what it looks like and it's I feel guilty doing it though I'm not sure why just like you know they say 
you know, you feel guilty taking care of yourself before you take care of your family, and that's how I feel. So, um, this is my book, and I'm already at 10 minutes, and I don't want to make a long video, so maybe I'll do another one, but I'm just going to show you, <laughs> and I would never do things like this, but I mean, I just like doing these kinds of things. I like sticking stuff in, and it's, I can just, I don't feel pressure that it has to look perfect. Um... I don't feel pressured that everything has to match all the time. I don't know if that, I mean, I like that I can just do what I want and just throw things in there. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'd like to get four more. Well, I'd like to have five total. So when I'm gone someday, all my children will have one. Um, this is my daughter's page and she wanted to do it. She made the butterfly and picked where everything was going to go. Um, it's her and my mom. Um, but, so, and I wouldn't care, you know, like, that's fine that she wanted to put everything there, you, you know, and I'm trying to, because even though it is mine, I still have to put <laughs> my kids in there. But anyways, it's just, it's something that, you know, I, I just, I just felt guilty about doing, but I have so much fun doing it. Is that, is that weird that I feel guilty doing things for myself? I don't know. So anyways, that's my little book. Um... But I hope I didn't bore anybody. I know it was like a long video. So thanks for watching and I hope to make some more videos. Okay, bye-bye.